Welcome back, Star Wars fans and toy collectors, to part two of my favorite carded action figures. Now, these ones are mostly from the, actually all from the vintage line. Uh, the vintage line has some, it's packed full of great, great figures, and uh, what a wonderful line it was, and kind of sad to see it go. But, uh, again, these are some of my favorites from this line, starting with uh, Princess Leia and Slave Outfit. Need I say more? No, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, the Gamorrean Guard. Awesome figure, awesome detail. I can almost see the slime rain down his mouth. Uh, very, very cool. Definitely one of my favorites in this line. Um, Star Killer. Now, I am also a video game nerd as well. And I have played both uh, Unleashed and Unleashed 2. And, uh, yeah, they're pretty cool games, you know. Um, not the best video games, but, you know, I did enjoy playing them. And, again, without the figure, anyway, he comes with all kinds of accessories as well. Lightsabers, uh, armor, uh, yeah, very, very cool. Arc Trooper Commander, otherwise known as Captain Fordo. Um, again, the vintage line has some really bright spots in these uh, in their line, and uh, this is one of them. Uh, when it comes to accessories and articulation, uh, this guy's got it. He's got it all. Very very cool. And of course. How could you not have Darth Malgus? This guy is so detailed looking, so evil looking, so sick looking. Uh, how could you not have this guy? This is one of my favorites, you know, definitely. Very, very cool figure. Uh, again, now this one's in here because not only is it a very cool figure, it was a pain in the butt to find, you know. I was been looking at this for this for quite some time. I didn't acquire this figure not up until a month ago, which I was at a local sci-fi convention near my hometown, and uh, I found this. And at the, at over there, and the guy was you know, selling this, and he actually gave it to me for a really good price. I only paid twenty-five bucks for it. It is punched, but. I've seen this thing going for ludicrous prices on eBay and Amazon. Um, Eighty dollars on up, which is outrageous. And I would not, no matter how bad I wanted this figure, I was not going to pay that price for it. And just goes to show you, sometimes patience uh, pays off. And last but not least, uh, the public cheaper. You know, again. Uh, very, very cool figure. Very, very cool accessories. Uh, the Vintage line has released some remarkable figures in this line. And uh, I'm closing in on completing this line. Hopefully I can get this line completed by this year. There's a few more figures I need from this line, which I still don't have. Which I'm still actively on the hunt for. But anyway... Hopefully, pretty soon I'll, I'll get those, and uh, yeah, it's a it's a it's a challenge, and uh, <laughs> uh, it's it's a whole fun of part of collecting. So yeah, I look forward to that. And so thanks for watching uh, my video, and if you have any uh, comments or anything, just you know feel free to leave your comment or whatever. And if you got your own favorite figures as well, you know tell me what your favorite figures are. Uh, Again, I did leave a big gap between uh, these figures. There was no 30th anniversary figure. It's a great line of Clone Wars, again. Great line, OTC, VDC. You know, all those lines are great lines. And uh, if I were able to include all those, I'd be here all night. So I just want to get a few in here while time allows me. And, uh, yeah, so until next time, be good. Be good to yourselves. And, uh you get to other people, so um, until then, have a good one.